welcome back to easy tutorials in this lecture series we are going to see why we have to go for circular queue or uh, what is the difference between linear queue and circular queue we are going to see this with a small demonstration i am taking a set of tasks i am going to perform this task with linear queue and with circular queue and then i am going to see what makes the difference in both so my task is i am supposed to nq 10, 15, 20, 30 and uh, 22, 18. So I am taking a size uh, queue, both linear queue and circular queue I am uh, taking. The size of the queue is 6 I am having. So with this queue, with this linear queue and with this circular queue, I am going to do the same task in both. So I am enqueuing 6 elements. Then I am performing DQ 3 times. Then I am trying to enqueue one more element. What is happening in linear queue and what is happening in circular queue? This is what I am going to see. So first, nq 10 so initially for nqing i'll point the front and rear in the zeroth index position and i'll make a nq so i have nq 10 then nq 15 move the rear pointer to the next position nq 15 then nq 20 move the rear pointer to the next position and i'll be nqing 20 then 30 increment rear pointer to the next position and you Place the element in that position. NQ. Then NQ22. Move the R pointer to the next position. Then you place the element in that position. NQ over. Then NQ18. Increment the R pointer to the next position. And you place the element in that position. So NQ operation is over in the case of linear Q. Now the same step 1 task I am going to do with circular Q. So circular queue initially as usual in the 0th index I am placing front and rear. So I am in enqueuing 10 then enqueue 15. Move the rear pointer to the next position and enqueue 15. Then enqueue 20. Move the rear pointer to the next position. Enqueue place the element in that position. Then enqueue 30. Move the rear pointer to the next position. Then place the element in that position. NQ22, move the R pointer to the next position, then place the element in that position. Then NQ18, move the R pointer to the next position and place the element in that position. So now my second step is over. Now what is my, in the linear queue also I have completed the sec, uh, NQ operation and uh, circular queue also I have completed the NQ operation. Now the first step is over and now I am going to perform second step. Perform DQ three times. So DQ if you want to perform you have to move the front point. You have to delete the element and move the front pointer to the next position. So first time DQ, second time DQ I am deleting moving the front pointer. Third time I am DQing, I am deleting the element moving the front pointer. So in linear queue I have completed. Circular queue same thing I am going to do. Delete the one element and move the front pointer. First DQ is over. Second DQ. Deleting the element, moving the front pointer. Third DQ. Deleting the element, moving the front pointer. So three times I have performed DQ. Now, what is my next step? Third step. So second step is over in linear queue as well as circular queue. Third step, NQ40. So I am going to NQ40. What is the procedure? Move the rear pointer to the next position and NQ 40. Place the element in that position. So I am trying to move my rear pointer to the next position. My index is over here. My index starts from 0 to 5. After 5, I am not able to move to the next position. 0 is not next to 5. 0 is here. So in linear Q, NQ 40 is not possible. Now come to the circular Q. So here... In circular queue, the indices are arranged in a circular manner. So after 5, 0 comes. So if I am moving the rear pointer to the next position and I am trying to place the element in that position, it is possible. So this makes the difference between linear and circular queue. In linear queue and circular queue, I am having places. Once the rear pointer is at the last indices position or my size of the queue is 6. So if, I, if my rare pointer is placed in size minus 1 position, after that if I am trying to perform NQ, even though space is there in linear queue, it is not possible. 
whereas in circular queue it is possible this is the major difference between linear and circular queue so once i am completely filling the queue both linear and circular queue i am completely filling then i am performing certain number of dq operations after that if i am trying to perform any nq operation in the case of linear queue it is not possible whereas in the case of circular queue it is possible so what is the major difference between linear and circular queue memory is efficiently used in circular queue whereas in linear queue even though you are having space once the rar pointer reaches size minus 1 index position even though there is space nq is not allowed so this is a drawback of linear queue and this is an advantage of circular queue so let us see how to write pseudo code for nq dq operations in circular queue using sequential as well as linked allocation in the further lecture series stay tuned like share and subscribe thank you